Welcome to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt Podcast, the latest swine nutrition research digested for you. I'm your host, Clayton Chastain, and today we have with us Dr. Rajinikanth Rajagopal, a research scientist at Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. So Rajinikanth, before we get started, would you mind giving the audience a short introduction about yourself? Yeah, sure, Clay. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me today. As you mentioned, I'm a research scientist working for Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, Sherbrooke Research and Development Centre in the management and treatment of effluents. So in particular, our research program is focusing on strategies to mitigate climate change and to promote the circular economy through the development of value-added opportunities. So today I'm going to share my research program at our centre on developing the Livestock Waste Management Technology Platform mainly to address the research and development activities related to livestock organic waste management, especially focusing on swine manure uh, treatment. So this re uh, research is imperative not only to protect the environment by removing pollutants, but also to synergistically recover and reuse all the values inherent in the waste, including recovering value-added bioproducts under the circular economy concept. Yeah, so on that, based on kind of what you sent me, it looks like you've done a lot of work with um, agricultural waste management and managing greenhouse gases and livestock emissions. So what strategies have you really uh, seen that can work or any sort of new innovations um, that the industry could use to reduce those emissions? Yeah, absolutely. You know, first of all, I would like to uh, take you through to our you know, research program. So we have already de uh, developed uh, anaerobic digestion biotechnology that has allowed us to transform org manure into three bioproducts with an interesting economic value. Biogas, an orderless liquid concentrate, and the third one is a solid digestate that can be reused on farm as fertilizer. In order to develop our expertise in this AD process, AD means anaerobic digestion process, our research center has chosen to build our own 300 meter cube biodigester on its land to treat swine manure and other agri-food waste. So I will come back to this part later. In the meantime, you may be wondering why anaerobic digestion is a sustainable solution for swine and other livestock waste management. So to answer this question, we need to look at the Canadian uh, current greenhouse gas emission values and their uh, reduction targets. So when it comes to GSG emissions, Canadians account for about relatively large share of what the world produces. According to the yeah, report by RBC, Canada emits about 730 million tons of carbon dioxide and equivalent GSG each year, making us the 10th largest emitter in the world. So when we talk about, uh, you know, just the agricultural sector, it contributes to approximately 8.1 percentage to Canada's total greenhouse gas emissions, which is approximately 60 million tons of CO2 equivalent. So when we talk about the swine manual, which is estimated to emit about 1,700 kilotons of CO2 equivalent of methane annually, which is more than, you know, a, a cattle or dairy manure uh, GSC emission production in Canada. So, our challenge is right now to uh, to see the ma you know management of the manure can be viewed as an opportunity for GST mitigation because manure storage is an emission source built and managed with the sign pro the producers. Thus, the methane potential of manure can be ha harnessed through AD system to produce renewable energy that can replace fossil fuels and thus reduce the carbon footprint of poor production. So um, that's one of our biggest challenge is to reduce or to reach the uh, yeah, re yeah, reduction tar target for the next three, three decades. For the agricultural sector, by around 2040, we will have to re reduce by about 31 million tons of CO2 equivalent. It's a lot. So how are we going to reach this target? The best way is to make a transition to integrated clean technologies through a circular economy concept. Thus, the integrated approach is necessary because the waste 
produced is environmentally hazardous and require appropriate overall management approach to meet discharge limit regulations. The goal is to make agriculture sustainable and at the same time to create alternative source of income through these biotechnologies. So let's look at the uh, importance of managing and treating swine manure and agri-food waste in an integrated manner. So I'm going to talk about the importance so that you know our research activities that are, we are doing at our center are showing some significant you know improvement uh, in terms of uh, achievements. So firstly, managing and treating organic livestock waste, like including swine manure, will help reduce GSG emissions and pollution risk associated with the agricultural sector. This is the first one. And secondly, by examining the components of the livestock manure, which has several beneficial uses as listed here. For example, manure contains useful nutrients and with proper treatment, we could obtain various byproducts such as compost, fertilizer products, and extract nutrients using biomass conversion. On the other hand, organic matter present in manure can be converted into soil amendment. The solids can be recycled uh, back into bedding. The energy present in manure can be, you know, can give rise to biogas, bio oil, syngas, and finally the fibers present in manure can be used as a substitute for peat or as a building material. So it has a several benefits. The challenge is to choose the appropriate clean technologies so that different byproducts can be targeted. And especially for Canada, you know, we have an additional challenge because about four to six months we have a cold weather. Because of this, manure need to be stored during winter and subsequently becomes harder in handling and treating them. So improperly, if you manage a manure, spreading can result in contaminating groundwater table, can have pathogens in the agricultural products, create order problems, and ultimately generate GHG emissions. So despite all the recent research development and extension in that area, manure management will continue to be the top environmental issue facing swine and other livestock production in Canada. And that's why the integrated approach I, I talked in you know, a few, few minutes ago play a major role in bringing several expertise under one forum, combines a variety of strategies of, for both waste management and the waste reduction. So I'm going to take a quick look at our Sherbrooke RDC's Livestock Waste Management Technology Platform towards a circular economy concept in order to make the Canadian agriculture and livestock farming more sustainable. So how are we going to do that? Our overall goal of the technology platform is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions, as I mentioned a few times ago, and also environmental footprint to meet the environmental and climate change goals of the livestock and poultry sector, which are in line with our AFC and Canada's climate change target for 2030 and the net zero by 2050. That's our first objective is to design to ensure the proposed te technologies save energy, reduce GSG emissions, and increase the value of carbon credits. That's our first objective. And afterwards, we want to improve the agronomic value of the fertilizer along with the pathogen reductions in order to increase the uh, export and market value of the byproducts. And the third one, we would like to convert you know, uh, the manure either into bioenergy or various bioproducts so that it can create, co-create the technological solutions with farmers to improve the agricultural production, crops and livestock resilience. So this is, uh, this is a, you know, uh, the Sherbrooke Research uh, Technology Platform that we have designed for our livestock uh, waste management. When it comes to raising healthy animals, you need more than the right solutions. You need the right partner who brings decades of industry expertise and a global team to put that knowledge to work for the advancement of your operation. At Fibro Animal Health Corporation, we are proud to work with you as your trusted partner. Entric challenges at weaning can trigger a cycle of poor pig performance. How do you interrupt the cycle? 
Learn what the teams from Purina and PMI are doing to address the cause of entric challenges and not just the symptoms. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show, but I believe that's all the time we have. So uh, yeah, thanks again for being here. Yeah. Um, thanks for having me um, on this show. Uh, yeah, I would like to you know, uh, con uh, conclude my, my speech with one uh, slogan. So our team's slogan is, waste is not waste, but misplaced resources. So in this direction, we are, we are trying to convert or transform all the organic agricultural waste into useful byproducts in order to protect the environment and fighting against the uh, climate change. And to everyone else, thank you for listening to the Swine Nutrition Black Belt Podcast. Please visit us at swannutritionblackbelt.com and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel so you won't miss out on the next episode. See you next week. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this episode and we are constantly on the lookout for the latest updates in swine nutrition. And if you have a swine nutrition related research trial that you would be able to share on our podcast, please send an email to nutritionblackbelt at swineit.com and we would love to talk about your research. See you later.